Over the next few days, we're going to be all over the place. First, we're going to travel to Forest City, Iowa for the Winnebago Grand National Rally. We're going to make a quick day trip to Minnesota and then all the way to the Nebraska state line from where we're going to make a day trip to Omaha. Then, Des Moines. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. We finally get to see a barge on the Mississippi River. We've been here for three days, and just as we are about to leave, we see our first barge. Isn't that something? There's usually a lot more traffic. Well, maybe not this far north. In any case, we're about to leave Dubuque. Today's leg of the trip will take us to the main mothership to the town of Forest City, Iowa, where the main Winnebago motorhome plant is located and where the Grand National Rally takes place. But first, we're gonna make a couple of stops, mainly this restaurant in Balltown everybody keeps telling us about. Too bad it is a little bit of a hazy day because the drive to Balltown here, very scenic. Iowa is one of those states that will surprise you. You don't expect it to be so, I'll say it again, scenic, charming, beautiful, picturesque. Here's the restaurant. Hmm. I wonder if there's a large parking lot in the back. And there is! Well, as some of you recommended, we're here at, at Balltown and we're gonna eat at Breitbach's Country Dining. Um, hopefully it's good, I'll let you know. Our pork tenderloin has arrived. But they had a buffet, but we decided to go with the with the Iowa classic, the pork tenderloin sandwich. Now we have a three and a half hour drive to Forest City, and we're just gonna turn into four. So good, we'll make it. We'll make it there. You know, Minutini Three is still nimble enough to be able to park at places like this. This is called Balltown Scenic Overlook. According to locals, the best Mississippi Valley Scenic Overlook. One of these days, one of these days we're gonna do the whole Great River Road and stop at all these scenic overlooks. It certainly is a commanding view. This episode is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. And what it does, it creates a private, secure connection between your devices and the internet. And you know how important that is uh, when you're traveling or, or even at home, really. So nobody can be eavesdropping on your connection, maybe install malware, steal your passwords. We don't want none of that. That's the main feature. It also has a clean web feature, which gets rid of unwanted ads or malware, that kind of thing. And, and then my favorite feature is that you can uh, change your location virtually. For example, if there's some content that is unavailable at your current location, no problem. You just, there's a drop-down menu and you can get teleported to wherever you want in the world. Now, I have a special link in the video description for you to get Surfshark VPN. And if you use promo code MYRV at checkout, you get 83% off and three months for free. 
and I want to thank them for sponsoring this episode. Seems like a nice view. Let me tell you, with the camper van, we could have stopped there. Well, here we are on the side of the road. We've been hugging the west bank of the Mississippi, but this is the point where we turn west and the landscape will become uh, more stereotypically Iowan, with some rolling hills and endless cornfields. And we forget to visit the Field of Dreams set and Laura Ingalls Park and Pikes Peak State Park, but we'll be back probably next year. Right now we have to drive to the west, to Forest City. This is it. We're back in the Great Plains. Well, almost. Technically, the Great Plains at this latitude begin west of the Missouri River, but this is close enough. We still have some rolling hills which make the landscape much more interesting. what seemed like an endless drive, here we are, Forest City, Iowa. Greetings from Forest City, Iowa, home to Winnebago. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. See you tomorrow. So we spent a few days here at the rally. There were some celebrations happening in town. We, of course, found the local saloon, which happened to have excellent craft beer. But of course, the main reason we came here was the Winnebago Grand National Rally, which I documented in much more detail in a different video. And even though I was told that this year it was much smaller than in pre-pandemic times, and you can kind of tell from the air, there are some noticeable empty areas on the rally grounds. From the ground, it still felt huge. Of course, most of our favorite vendors were there too. Well, if you've never seen a camper van with in-lock waters, this is it. That's Peter Holcomb's rig, fellow Winnebago brand ambassador. There was a shuttle bus to go into town. Lynched in RV had free food. Of course, we ended up buying some stuff because that's what you do, right? This vent here is right on top of the bed. So if you want to sleep in, you know, it's impossible. Especially here in, in, in Iowa this time of the year, uh, the sun rises at 5.30, 5.30 a.m. So maybe this will take care of that problem. <laughs> <laughs> 
We also got one of these, three of these actually, for the refrigerator because this refrigerator is kind of residential in a sense. So um, when you go through a bumpy road or a curvy road or whatnot, uh, things tend to move, you know, shift in there. And when you open the door, it could be a disaster. So this could prevent that. And last but not least, we got a, an Oxygenix shower head because I mean, this one is totally adequate, but this one is much better. Good morning. It's another day here in, um, let's call it Ambassador's Row, uh, here at the, at the rally. And uh, now we're going to the, to the Winnebago Towables breakfast, right here. Let's check it out. Oh, well, here we are. We are three minutes early, but I see a bunch of hungry people here already, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, I think we may have skipped the line. By the way, this cabin coffee, really good stuff. Look what I got. Now we got a Truma cooler. It's happy hour at the Tiki Bar. Well, as you can see, this place has filled up a lot more. We have our other fellow uh, Winnebago uh, ambassadors here, and we just took a group picture. It's... The row parties were a lot of fun, with almost every state represented, with food and local stuff. Very cool. here for some authentic Louisiana jambalaya. Of course, there was a rolling polka band. We got the cooler. We oh, got, you the got the monster the, cooler. Yeah, the, the, the monster we cooler. Got the monster oh, cooler man. for you, Robert. All we right, got, thank you. We got drinks on this side. We got drinks on this side. Is there something that you like? IPA. If you have an IPA, I go for I it. Have a Otherwise, major IPAs. This is the Maximus IPA. Oh, colossal! No, colossal IPA. I'll get one of these. Yeah. Okay, and uh, you get thank to try you. out the bottle opener. So this is uh, fitted with bottle openers on both sides, right, right here. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Okay, the Winnie Bees have IPA. That's good in my book. So let me get an IPA from the Winnie Bees here. Cheers, yeah, guys. Cheers, Thank guys. you. There was live entertainment every night, including a luau to close the festivities. At some point, during the course of a multi-day event like this one, you get the itch to go out and explore. And that's exactly what we're going to do. If you watched my Summer 2020 series, you've already seen this. But I wanted to show Illy Buddy Holly's crash site. Oh yeah, as you know, I came here last year, but we were so close that, you know, I wanted to come back. It's too hot to walk the, the three quarters of a mile or whatnot to get to the actual site, but I just wanted to see the, the cornfields uh, up close and, and the big glasses here. All right, let's continue. Yeah, it is not a very long hike to the actual site, but we're not in the mood today and we've seen it before, so... We're going into Minnesota. Yes, let's add another state to our trip. Why not? And this is what happens when you cross a state line when one state allows gambling and the other one, not so much. And we are now in Minnesota. Now we're driving a little to the west in order to see one of those roadside American icons. Well, you won't believe it, but we drove over an hour just to see this. Mm, that has a strange resonance. Oh, well, yeah, this is it. The Green Giant of Blue Earth, Minnesota. The fiberglass statue is basically an advertisement for the Green Giant Company made with money from donations from the local businesses. Back in 1978, it was originally placed right next to I-90 to commemorate the completion of the 3,000-mile cross-country interstate and moved to its current location a year later. Well, that's the, 
the big giant. This is the little giant. Whew. On the road again. Well, that was a very good time here at the rally, our first time at the Winnebago Grand National Rally, and uh, yeah, it exceeded our expectations. Lots of nice people. You know, our viewers are always nice people, but um, it, it's definitely a happy bunch. And uh, now we're gonna start heading a little farther west. This was not part of the plan towards Nebraska. Ever since the summer 2019 road trip, I've been meaning to visit this place coming up. Pretty remote if you ask me, but I think totally worth a visit. And here we are, the Shrine of the Grotto of the Redemption. It doesn't look that large from the parking lot, but it is, allegedly, the world's most complete man-made collection of minerals, fossils, shells and petrifications in one place. Let's go into the Trinity Grotto, the first one, built over the course of five years by Father Paul Doberstein, beginning back in 1912. Apparently, a bird decided to build a nest inside the grotto. This one is called Paradise Lost, depicting the moment Adam and Eve are evicted from the Garden of Eden. There are 16 of these stations here which uh, depicting you know, part of Jesus Christ's life. Well, the first one is Adam and Eve, and then these are the, the rest. Jesus meets his holy mother. And the level of detail, you know, of intricate detail of the rock is, is quite amazing. As the story goes, Father Paul Doberstein, a German immigrant, became critically ill with pneumonia and promised to build a shrine to the Virgin Mary if she interceded for him. After his recovery, he began stockpiling rocks and precious stones, and the rest is history, standing here before our very eyes. And there's Moses and the Ten Commandments. There's Minitini 3, as seen from the top of the shrine. This was certainly unexpected. Very, very interesting. Very beautiful. Now, yeah. we continue. It definitely feels larger than what you would expect. So if you're ever near the town of West Bend, Iowa, this might be worth a visit. Lots of people make the trek here in hope of a miracle, a healing from an ailment, just like Father Doberstein, depicted in this sculpture right here. Now it is time to go. Are you guys doing okay there? You look comfortable. 
okay you don't say much so let's go Ooh, it's 90 degrees out there but we have air conditioner in here running on battery we've been a little under an hour and uh, the battery is at 78 percent we still have two hours and 36 minutes left of uh, at this at, at this rate of consumption and right now the, the compressor is on it's not it hasn't stopped at all just because it is hot out there so it's a very nice thing to have to have a couple of hours of air conditioner for days like today and you know stopping here in the in, well, in front of the grotto for a few minutes now we continue now we continue towards our campground <laughs> about to leave and we saw this uh, sculpture here in front of the church and the church is very nice too maybe we should have visited as well <laughs> who would have thought right all this right here in the middle of Iowa and this is the back of the grotto back there okay now for real let's hit the road Yep, this is pretty much the way it looks all the way from here to western Nebraska. Give or take a hill or two and a handful of trees. Let's take a quick break at this truck stop. Let's have lunch. In the spirit of brevity, we decided to get some, let me see if I can show you, some Hardee's. Let's eat. Check out the crap duster. Look at that, that was right there, so close. That's gonna be a fun job. The rest of the road today will take us to Onawa, Iowa. Very close to South Dakota and Nebraska. From there, we're going to make a day trip to Omaha before visiting Iowa's capital once again. This time, a proper visit with an exclusive tour of the state capital. But more about that on the next episode, which I'm so sorry to say it will not be next week. There is going to be a short hiatus here for those of you who watch every Sunday. Friday live streams and the occasional mini tinny lounge will continue, but until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm free in my RV. Yeah, I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. Yeah.